How good is this? Straight up, let me say something, okay? My partner of seven years, Cody, is an infectious disease doctor, okay? So the last year, it's been all about Dr. Cody, so much attention, I've hated every single second of it, and I can't tell you how happy I am that the next four minutes is about me again! My favourite topic! I turned 38 years old this year. I'm getting a little bit old. And do you know how I know this? I've started asking people where they parked their car. <laughs> Anyone at that stage of their life yet? It's about five minutes into the catch-up. So, where'd you park? <laughs> I want to know where everyone parked. Let's go around the room, sir. My friends are changing. They're having babies, and a lot of them. Babies, babies, raining babies, bloody babies everywhere. Babies are all right. They're pretty fun to hang out with. New parents. <laughs> um, <laughs> my friends change when they have kids, you know? They start using a word on Instagram they've never used before. Journey. New parents love the word journey. We're expecting the journey begins. What journey awaits? The journey ahead. Hashtag journey. Once you pop a kid out, you just start talking in fridge magnets. I don't get it. <laughs> There's another word my friends use now that they have kids. Percentile. New parents love that very specific word of percentile. Her vocabulary's in the top 90th percentile. Read a newspaper, Rebecca. The Earth has three months left. No one gives a fuck. <laughs> I hope one of her words is help. <laughs> <laughs> you do boring things on the weekend, the older you get. We used to go have all-nighters. No, 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 not anymore. No, no, we're 37. It's wine and cheese at an Airbnb. Wine and cheese at an Airbnb. It's just wine and cheese at an Airbnb. We're 37. It's wine and cheese at an Airbnb. <laughs> The text message we used to send before we went out was, are there sniffer dogs? Now it's, who's bringing the camembert? <laughs> I don't like it. I don't like Airbnb. Airbnb sucks. Can we all just talk about that for a second? Melbourne, I'm old school and I'm up myself. I'm a real diva, OK? On arrival, when I travel, I like a check-in desk. I like an elevator. I like a room card key. I like a mini bar. I like a Pringles packet. I like to relax on arrival. No time to relax at an Airbnb. You've got to figure out how to get into the fucking joint. <laughs> Welcome to your Airbnb. The quest for your key begins. <laughs> you must go six paces past the willow tree. It is there you will meet a wizard. He will have a scroll and your adventure awaits. <laughs> Let me in! <laughs> the last thing I need after driving for five hours is a pirate map. And the only thing worse than a pirate map is the worst three words on an Airbnb booking. Host greets you. Host greets you? <laughs> we don't want to talk to you. We're on holiday. We're not going to talk to each other. <laughs> Here's a scary game to play at your next sleepover party. Say the words host greets you three times into a mirror and then a baby boomer named Debbie appears and bores you to death. <laughs> They're all called Debbie. Everyone that runs an Airbnb is called Debbie. I don't know why, it just is. Hello, 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 I'm Debbie. Give us the key, Debbie! <laughs> And for the young people watching, here is a warning. The change will happen before you know it. Perfect example. When we were 24 years old, we went to a music festival, OK? Day two, my friend Kate was such a trash bag, she was so off her face that she had to run back to the campsite and did an emergency poo in an empty Nutrigrain box, right? <laughs> That's what she did when we were 24. That same friend last year complained to Kmart's Facebook page about bad customer service. <laughs> That's the change. When you hear one of your friends say, can I please speak with the manager, it's all over. <laughs> I've been Nate Valvo. Enjoy comedy. Good night, Valvo. <laughs>